Hi there. I hope you all are safe and doing well. Welcome to the good tiffin. Last week I talked about calcium, its scope and importance and how to prevent osteoporosis. Today I am going to talk about an important mineral and nutrient, magnesium. Magnesium is responsible for over 300 enzymes or biochemical reactions in the body. It converts carbohydrates, fats and proteins into energy. It keeps your bones and teeth healthy. It maintains regular blood pressure. It's required for blood coagulation, insulin production, muscle relaxation, nerve functions and it supports your immune system. So you can understand, you get the picture how important this mineral is. What happens when you have magnesium deficiency? From muscle cramps to anxiety and depression, from extreme tiredness, fatigue to brain fog and confusion, magnesium deficiency can display a wide range of symptoms. RDA that is your recommended daily allowance of magnesium for an adult male is 400 mg and for an adult woman is 320 mg. So how do we make sure that we do not suffer from a deficiency of this important mineral? So I'm going to briefly talk about the main sources, the chief sources of magnesium. Giloy powder, this one tops the list. Just 5 grams of Giloy powder equals to 100% of RD of magnesium for an adult woman, that is 320 mg. But before you start using Giloy tablets or powder, make sure that you consult a doctor for duration and dosage. If you are pregnant or lactating, make sure you consult a doctor. It's generally believed that Giloy powder is not good for pregnant women. Next is dried herbs and spices. Dried basil, parsley, saffron, turmeric. These are very good sources of magnesium. Then your nuts and seeds. Nuts like almonds, pistachio, cashew nuts and pumpkin seeds, cumin seeds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds are very good sources of magnesium. Then comes your beans, lobia that is black eyed beans, soya beans, black gram that is your sabud, akha urad and rajma. Whole grains like wheat and rajkira, amranth are very good sources of magnesium. Also, ragi is a good source of magnesium and additionally an excellent source of calcium. So it's a perfect bone building food which is very heart healthy and it can regulate your blood pressure. Cocoa powder, unsweetened cocoa powder is a very good source of magnesium. Pipali which is also known as Pipramul in Gujarati is also a very good source of magnesium. It is given to growing kids, to women after pregnancy and anybody who requires that extra dose of energy. Last week after my calcium video I received a lot of phone calls and messages requesting me to briefly cover how to use these sources of food rich in various minerals or vitamins etc in our daily diet so i'm going to briefly cover this for magnesium today dried basil and parsley apart from pastas you can use them in your soups sandwiches salads wraps etc nuts and seeds in my previous video seven mistakes we make I have advised you to have nuts and seeds with your fruits. That's how you can include them in your daily diet. You can also make a powder from cashew nuts and watermelon seeds and use them in your gravies, curries, etc. Ragi and Rajgira, you can use them in your parathas, rotis, rotlas, etc. You can use ragi in making idlis and uttapams. In my Uttapam pizza video, I have shown how to make ragi Uttapam. So you can check that out. 
then how to use black gram that is your sabud or akha urad of course you can make dal makhani but you can also make jawar urad rotla i have shown how to make these rotlas in my video jawar pita pockets so do check that out then comes cocoa powder unsweetened you can use that in your milk and smoothies your lobia that is black eyed beans rajma soya beans etc can be used in different salads and soups pipali of pipramun add a teaspoon of this powder to your daily milk and get that extra energy boost you can also make energy squares using pipali powder or pipramul jaggery roasted almonds and some desi ghee here are the ones that are made by my mom they are super delicious healthy and they give you an instant energy boost <clears throat> so i hope this video has helped you to understand how important magnesium is what are the different sources of magnesium and how you can include them in your daily diet if you want me to cover a specific topic in my next tuesday nutrition nugget video please put your suggestions in the comment section below Thank you so much for watching bye bye